Welcome everyone, you join me for week 24 of the Great British Ordnance Survey treasure hunt. Uh, week 24 is Cambridge University. Cambridge University, uh, the University of Cambridge. So it is a very, very busy map, as you can see here. Um, we have a lot of making up to do after last week's abysmal performance. But we again go for our perfect score and we start with question one, the easy questions. Here we go. Are there more farms or cemeteries identified on the map? Now, I think cemetery is C-E-M. I think. C-E-M-Y, so we've got one there. Wow, this is a busy map. We've got one there, that's two. I think we've got two. Now, we've got river farm here, and that's it. So, that's one farm, so we go for cemeteries. Good start. Question two, how many schools are shown in the top row of the map? Okay, the top row of these, box, these boxes up here, we've got one, two, three. I'm not including that one, it's in the second row. So three. That, that seems almost too easy, doesn't it? Question three, the medium questions then. If you move directly from the one cycle higher location to the other as the crow flies and then keep on going, what is the height of the ground survey point you pass through? Okay. Well, there's a cycle higher. There's a cycle higher. And it's 13. Has to be, doesn't it? Look, we've got one here, we've got one here, and if we keep going as the crow flies, it's 13 metres. That seems almost too easy, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit wary about that. Question four, how many houses run along the south side of the A1303 from the 13 metre ground survey height point and the junction with the A1134? Right, so there's the A1134, and a1303 is there, there's the 13, and this is the junction. So how many houses were along on the south side? Okay, from, well that's here, but then what? So I'm going to say one, one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, I think. I'm including that as a one house, or should it be two? One. So it's definitely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then is that one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it is one. I'm saying 17. Right, we move on to the tricky questions. Oh, I was worried I wasn't recording then, I am. Question five. The names of three colleges of the University of Cambridge appear on the map as part of other location names. Can you find at least one? The names of three colleges of the university. There's a college there, college there. Can we call Newton one? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really not sure on this one. But I'm thinking Newtown is an option. I've only got to get one out of three. So we're going to go for Newtown. And keep our fingers crossed. Question six then. The University of Cambridge, which was founded in 1209, is the fourth oldest of the world's surviving universities. Can you discover which of its 31 colleges is the oldest? It would help to think of the dwelling of the one who was robbed to pay Paul. Or well, Peter was robbed to pay, Paul, to pay Paul, wasn't he? So are we, are we saying St Peter's here? Right, I'm just going to go for St Peter's College because... 
I'm going for St Peter's College. That's that's all I've got. I just know that Peter was robbed to pay Paul. That's all I know. So I'm going for St Peter's College. Question seven then. Can you discover which modern sport was first played on a common shown on this map? Well, I've already seen rugby. And it, knowing that it's Cambridge, I would say it has to be rugby. Has to be. Oh. Uh, question eight then, which of the following sports is the odd one out? Cricket, golf, punting, rugby, swimming. I'm going to say punting. Partly because it's on the map in blue. But I'm also wondering if it's a sport that, I don't even know if it's a sport really punting, but is it a sport that, is it something that the colleges don't compete in? I'm wondering if everything else is competed, but punting is not. That's my that's my guess. The key puzzle question then, which way is named on the map? Well, it'll be this green one here, which is the Fen Rivers Way. Got to be, isn't it? Fen Rivers Way. There we go. We've completed 24. That was relatively quick. Eight minutes we've got that done. But that means nothing. I mean, I, I, I'm not confident here on the maximum score, but we shall see. Question one, then. It is cemeteries. I was correct. It is cemeteries. Question two is four. One in the second column, one between the second and third third columns, and two in the third. Oh, is that because it's schools with an S? I feel like that's a little bit of a stitch up. You know, I don't often accuse this book of stitching me up much, but that is a bit of a stitch up. Uh, it is 13 metres. Excellent work. We got that one correct. And of course it is 16, not 17. So it wasn't including the building, um, which was here. It wasn't including that one. So again, thanks very much book for stitching me up. Question five, um, we could have had Claire, Jesus or Newham. So, again, we are incorrect there. Oh, don't want to go orange, do we? <clears throat> uh, question six is, I mean, I was close. The dwelling of the person that, that robbed Paul, Peter House. I mean, I don't know the colleges of Cambridge, so. <clears throat> question seven. Um, it is, unbelievably, it is football not rugby and there I am as a football fan question eight it is punting because it's the only one written in blue so I thought it was one of those and the key puzzle it was the Fen Rivers way uh, the Fen Rivers way so that is another dismal display um, four out of nine <clears throat> that is awful. Two really bad weeks in a row there. Um, <clears throat> I felt like the school one, probably if I'd have looked at the S, I could have counted that as two schools, but I've, I've sort of counted it as one, so I probably could have picked up a mark there. If I hadn't included that one, that would have been a mark there. Um, so it could have been six out of nine. But that's it. We're done for another uh, Ordnance Survey treasure hunt next week is week 25 which takes us to the broads the broads uh, over in norfolk so that should be good fun uh, and then after that we've got one more uh one more location and then we're on to the southeast of england which is my back garden sort of so that should be good fun uh, and i shouldn't be getting any of the questions wrong there 
but no doubt I will. Thanks very much everyone uh, for watching. Please do like the video, subscribe as well. I'll see you next week for another one. Bye-bye.